so it's time to introduce our next speaker saha yeah of course the most awaited uh... <laughs> yes this next speaker is a little awesome uh, uh, a little special in a different way uh, i'll tell you the back story uh, in some time his name is hari kumaran babu we can call him hari so he's an alumnus of national institute of technology tirchapalli and a national institute of design bangalore and he has over 6 years of experience in tech design media and he loves experimenting and collaborating with a diverse set of different people basically talking to people understanding their experiences observing them that's what he does so he's right now working as freshworks as a senior product designer and today hari is going to talk about design plus xr you'll get to know what ar vr is all about from a designer's designer's perspective and how important is design to the future of this technology for those people who don't know what xr is you're like me even i don't know anything about it let hari talk about it so please welcome hari kumar babu hey kuzaima hi sahal thanks everyone so i'll just uh, without making any delay and just start off and as we go on the course we'll talk a lot more um just give me a second before i can actually uh, present my screen yeah. is it clear now all good yes yes okay yeah sorry for the trouble guys so i'll just uh, start right away uh, so today i'll be talking about design and xr where it's going to be a perspective designer's perspective on the upcoming future tech so before i start off uh, let me ask something so did you ever wish that you could experience and do such things like what tony stark and jarvis has done as has done has done like say in the avengers movie or in the iron man or basically become the iron man uh, i'm pretty sure everyone who has watched these movies would be very fascinated about it let me tell you the truth it's not a far fetched dream anymore it's going to happen sooner or later maybe in a couple of years uh 10 years maybe 5 years 10 years it's going to happen for sure so um i just thought i'll introduce a bit uh before i go deep dive into how i came into this journey uh how i came into this field so yeah firstly i prefer calling uh, being called as hkb instead of hari kumar and babu so and i began my career uh, like i started designing right when i was in uh, engineering in nit tirchi i know there are a couple of guys over here who are attending so that's where i started my design uh, uh, career and post that uh, i had joined as a chemical engineer in rank lines and that's where i took the critical decision uh, that okay engineering is not my job so i quit and i survived for a year as a freelance graphic designer and that taught me a lot and from there on uh, i got into nid and that was the origin where the thought of ar vr began and so looking forward to working on to that field uh, i just was trying to assess and see which companies actually are starting to work on these and then i saw trimble was one of them and uh, so i'm like okay let's go and join there and i somehow got just cracked into it and uh, and that's where my growth happened and right now now i'm just taking my daily steps into becoming an xr design evangelist so what did i do in xr in trimble so firstly i did my graduation project on mr and then i also worked on a live project on mobile ar and and also so there's a global hackathon event which is conducted by trimble across trimble within the company and we had participated had participated as a team uh, twice and i won the global have won the global hack award uh, in one of those years so what are these terms what are these terms like ar vr mr xr you keep hearing about them a lot in the news and the trends uh, and informations you get like you might have heard about uh, uh, apple uh, in going to bring in ar and all this so what is this what is all about before i explain what ar vr mr is let me set a hierarchy presentation with it so introducing extended reality xr means extended reality so what xr is basically means it's combi- it's basically uh, the combination of ar vr mr or you can say uh, it's a collective term so what does this extended reality mean from a designer standpoint so let's say it's basically experience and reality experience as a whole and reality 
So let me take a step forward and try to break these two uh, these into two parts and explain you what experience means and what reality means. So let's first try to understand experience. Experience can be gained through our five senses. So like we have our sight, uh, hearing senses, nose, mouth, that's the taste especially, and the touch. So these are the five senses we have and we experience through these uh, sensory organs, right? And when you use these five sensations and uh, you are able to experience this world with the combination of one and many of them. So this in itself gives an experience of how we are living in this world, right? So dating back, like what is our first trials with the digital experience? Like one of the first time when we experienced, uh, uh, you know, was in through visuals. And that is, was, that is like photographs, motion pictures and silent short films. So this is like the, the horse in motion in 90, I mean, 1878 is one of the first uh, experience, visual experience gained by people for the digital world. Now, say for the auditory experience, uh, we used to have musical records, songs and radios, but how good is it actually? So I just hope you can hear this. Uh, or So that's Dolby Atmos, and that's what you call as you know. You must have heard about all the all the noises behind the ruffling of leaves, the water trickling. So that's an auditory experience. So when you combine both the visual and the hearing uh, experiences, that's why you get 2D experience. So what is the 2D experience? We experience currently within a rectangular frame all these 2D experiences, uh, like saying playing PUBG, FIFA uh, with your headphones connected and or ordering your food on Swiggy. And right now, as we are speaking on Airbeat, we are experiencing through a rectangular frame. And this happens through a medium of interaction. So your laptops, your mobile, your say if you're playing a game, it's through your joystick and your and, uh, remote, whatever it is, we experience all these interactions through a medium. So I'll park uh, my a talk on experience for now, and I'll jump into what reality is. So from a design perspective, reality is basically the real physical world around us, our environment we are currently present, and our surroundings uh, which we experience. So right now, I am sure like every one of you, like I am sitting here in my home, and I'm actually talking with you guys, and likewise you guys are listening, but we are interacting through this virtual space. So this is through a rectangle frame. So this is a kind of an experience, right? So this is the reality we are living in right now. So in our real world, what all we can do is basically we can talk, walk, run, we can move around, interact, meet people and things, everything. So this is an essence of reality in itself. And this is basically a dimension which is real and our experiences are directed and real. Basically it's three dimensional. So we are going, we are moving from a two, di a two dimensional phase to a three dimensional phase over here. So when you're adding these 2D experiences into reality, what happens is uh, we are experiencing it through these medium of interactions, right? And let me tell you, this is kind of an intrusive experience because this medium of interaction is in a way very intrusive to our whole uh, complete experience. Now, the idea of eliminating this intrusive experience is what sparked the beginning of the 3D experience in itself. 
when our 3d experiences are present within the same, uh, within the same reality it gives us a unified experience uh, with very low intrusion so in short this is 3d experience which is live interactive and real this is xr experience so now that i've set the context from a designer's perspective what does uh, xr technically what does xr mean so like i said xr is a collective and an umbrella term for all realities put together but to be more precise it's actually an experience range spectrum so say you have a uh, is basically uh, the whole range spectrum from being completely digital to completely real this is called xr so let me be more uh, clearer uh, maybe there must be a lot of questions right now what do you mean by completely digital and completely real uh, there are varying experiences throughout present uh, present over this so let me give an example right now so what is augmented reality over here you design for digital elements to appear over your real world views sometimes with limited interactivity between you and your commonly uh, with your mobile phones so basically it's an overlay onto your mobile so your instagram filters are mostly augmented reality stuff and basically you are interacting in a real world and uh, it superimposes on a real world so this is a kind of an experience so this is an augmented reality experience what is virtual reality so what in virtual reality you are basically design an immersive experience which isolates the users from the real world so when you put on your vr headset you are completely away from the real world and you are brought into a new world altogether into new virtual world altogether and where you experience we can experience all of that inside so this is virtual reality so what is mixed reality mixed reality is basically you you combine both the experiences that is you you, you design to combine ar and vr elements so that the digital objects can interact with the real world like if you notice the uh, visual over here uh, you see the person is interacting in his real home kitchen with the digital objects over here so this is called as mixed reality these three are the simplest examples i could give but the complexities are actually a lot more the experience spectrum is actually very huge and complex like it's just a, it's as complex as like you know in math you have algebra integrations and complex numbers it's as complex as that because there are so many possibilities so that is why you have it as a gradient uh, of you know whether it's completely digital or completely real uh, we can talk about this in depth some other day because it's going to take a whole lot while for me to explain uh so moving on uh, i just thought i'll wrap it up in a bit so that we can take a lot more on q and a uh, outside office hours i am a digital artist uh, i love making these digital artworks uh, where i get spare time and i'm also a technical cinema enthusiast where i completely involve myself in the film making process and till date i have almost uh, involved myself in all of these be it story writing script writing uh acting direction cinematography uh short uh, uh, storyboarding production and uh, editing and vfx uh, in fact i've been a uh, part of a few films uh, short films and festival films and web series and lastly yeah uh, as a pixar design evangelist i conduct workshops and uh, where i explain in depth about how to design for uh, uh, you know xr augmented reality majorly focusing only on that for now and uh, how do we equip ourselves Uh, to the upcoming challenges in this future technology so uh, i'm sure you would like to know what all did i do in xr and um, so i would uh, ask saha to actually present uh, the um, thing the location tags to proceed further choose the zonal area
Uh, are you able to see my screen, guys? Uh, Saha, Zema, yes. yeah? Yes, we can, we can see your screen. Yeah. 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 So I just wanted to end it like all these pivotal explorations in my journey actually helped me in my growth. Like even this design XR talk which I'm giving and the workshop which I'm conducting and my trials with the uh, uh, with being as an engineer and then coming into this design field and being as a graphic designer and working across digital painting and uh, uh, also on then do, going into the filmmaking side. All these explorations actually helped me grow. So I would you know, like, you know, one of the favorite quotes I have is like, never stop exploring, never stop learning and never stop executing your ideas and plans and goals for you live only once in your life. So I hope it was insightful and for everyone. And I hope you can, uh, we can, I can answer questions if you have any questions and yep.